Hello, I'm Nige. And I'm Anders. Welcome to Zero Point, another episode investigating the world of low stroke no alcohol beers. Nige, what have we got this week? Free Star. Something I've picked up in uh, Sainsbury's, I think it was. Yes. Free Star Prime Time. It's a 0%. It's 0.0% beer. Uh, it says it's a light and refreshing IPR, IPA star lager with a citrus edge. Well, how interesting. I'll tell you what, because I'm doing beer cam this week, I'm going to start it up, I'm going to get it in the, in the glass. Marvellous. Three Star is actually quite a new brewery. Uh, only started in 2019. I think they're based in London. I could be wrong on that. Might have misread that. Mm-hmm. This is prime times are only beer at the moment, but apparently it was 400 different recipes they tried and they had disaster after disaster just Good to God. get the best recipe they could. This, this. But it promises a lot. It does, doesn't it? It's going to have to be very good. Well, colour's nice. It is. A little bit of a a head on that. Smell. Hmm. That aroma. I'm sure about that. I can't place that. I'm not going to say anything. I think I know what that smell is. Should we go in? Let's. Go on. Yes. Chin, chin. Do you know, I think they could have done with 401 different failures. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, it's a nice way of putting it. Uh, right, okay. There's a lot. There's a lot of twists and turns in this, aren't there? There are. There, it, it, it's there's a sweetness in there, which I'm, I don't actually like that much. That's the first thing it hits is that sweetness. I think. Yeah. Then right at the end, it takes a left turn. And goes somewhere completely different. Is that citrus at the end you're getting? Yeah, it's almost an artificial citrus flavour, isn't it? Yeah. That artificialness coming through. Uh, This really isn't that nice. It's a shame. I was all fired up for this, thinking this was brilliant. We've we've over the last couple of weeks had a run of goodies, haven't we? Um, this yeah. is this is. I, I, do you know what? It, it's weird. It is. This is a weird. Over the place. It, yeah. Going to have a short break. We're going to mm-hmm. save this and really try and get into the bottom of what, what what's happening with the flavours, and we'll get back. To you. Great idea, Batman. Things have progressed. Um, the taste, I, I, I was saying tonight that there's a hint of berry at the end of this. And you said it was blackberry. Yeah, I'd actually think blackberry's you? much further forward. It's not just at the end. No. Uh, but... It kind of, in a way, it, it, it kind of helps to make more sense of this. I'm still not a fan of it, but... Yeah. And you also said there's a little bit of sherbet at the beginning. Yeah. Well, I'd start getting that towards the bottom. I mean, I almost finished mine. Yeah, me too. There was this bit of sherbet. In it. That, that's the sweetness at the front. But then that gives way. There's a little bit of sourness in there. I think that's what <clears throat> I don't like about it. So, but if you like your sour beers, you might actually, it, this might. It's a. You might gel with it. I, I don't know, but it's just, it's all over the place, the flavours. It's, and it's. I don't. I don't think it works. It's, it, yeah, it's turning left, turning right, and and all sorts of things. I, I, um, I generally don't like this. I, which I was, I was looking forward to after reading the spiel, but in the shops, I must say this doesn't look that appealing. 
I don't, I don't think it does either, no. It looked cheap. Uh, I think it's the glass bottle it did it, the, the clear bottle. Yeah. Never helps, really, does it? No. Right, so there we go. We can't wholeheartedly get behind this one. No, it's it's a miss from Martin Anders. <laughs> well, absolutely. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.